The third circuit we're going to look at is, again, a circuit that involves a power supply, some wires, and two resistors. However, if you'll notice, the resistors are connected in a different way this time. The resistors, instead of being one after another, they're connected in what we call parallel. In order to set up this circuit, again, make sure our power supply is plugged in. We start with our first wire, connect it to the positive terminal. From that first wire, we connect our first resistor. Now, if we notice in the circuit diagram, at this point, the resistor and the wire branch apart. So, we take a second wire and complete that branch by plugging the second wire into the first wire. This will allow us to branch and branch to the second resistor where we plug in the wire. We go back to the first resistor and we see that this first resistor in the circuit diagram is connected back to the power supply. So we connect it back to the negative terminal of the power supply. And last but not least, we still have this second resistor that is connected to the wire of the first resistor. So we connect our second resistor to our first resistor. Now we have our circuit complete, but we are getting more complicated with our circuits, so we want to check to make sure that our circuit is correct uh, in our setup. So we go back and check. Power supply goes to the first resistor, through the first resistor, and back to the power supply. The second loop that we can look at starts at the power supply, goes from uh, the first wire to the second wire, second wire goes to the second resistor, through the resistor, back through the wire, connects to the second wire, and back to the power supply. We see that we have our uh, circuit set up correctly, so we can go ahead, turn on our power supply, make our measurements, when we're done with our measurements, go ahead, turn off the power supply, disconnect all the wires and all the components, placing everything back in your box, and returning your supply box to the supply window.